back to my channel vlogs by s so today is the seventh out of seven day vlog 19 vlog video series or whatever you want to call it um so this is actually the same day as i posted the outro but that's okay because it's going to be posted on sunday which is the seventh day um so i'm really kind of sad like i've been sad all weekend because this video was supposed to be me introducing y'all to my marmoset that's a finger monkey and um yeah so i don't have a monkey and i lost 500 dollars so if you want to hear about this story and how i lost 500 dollars and why my monkey is not here then stay tuned and keep watching first things first i just want to say avoid the monkey whisperer at all costs he's located in florida uh what's the place i'm not sure it's like um it starts with a p but it's like a place that you never heard of um he stays in florida and then there's he has a place in cottonwood but um yeah he pretty much scammed me not necessarily scammed me but anyway i'm gonna get into it i'm just gonna start from the beginning um if you're super close to me you know that i've been talking about a finger monkey i've wanted a finger monkey since i was a freshman in high school like i really really wanted one since i was a freshman in high school and um it didn't come like i didn't really think i was gonna get one until about a month ago and i scheduled for my like i was supposed to be i was actually supposed to be in florida friday through sunday getting my finger monkey like i was gonna get my finger monkey on friday then we're gonna stay on a weekend trip that's when my dad's birthday gift was to me we're gonna stay on a weekend trip in florida and i was gonna have my finger monkey y'all so a month ago i paid my 500 hundred dollar deposit and it was supposed to um it was supposed to um reserve my monkey for when i could like pick up pick it back up and so y'all i was so excited y'all i've been looking forward to this for so long that was like the big surprise that i had that i didn't really tell anyone because like i didn't tell anyone about it really like i told a couple of people but just in case like it didn't work out i didn't want people to think i was lying about getting monkey like because i don't lie i don't cap about stuff like that like i have no reason to cap if i say i'm gonna do something i want to do it unless it's like out of my hands so having a mommy set is illegal in georgia but since i go to college in dc and dc is not a state but it's not illegal in virginia so i was supposed to be able to get it my parents didn't know that it was illegal in georgia but i figured it didn't matter because i'm gonna be leaving in like what it's june i leave in august you know so i would be gone anyway so i didn't think it was that big of a deal so let's get down to the, these receipts y'all can't read these so i'm gonna put the screenshots up like on the side either one either side i'm not sure yet but i'm gonna put the screenshot so y'all can read along with me as i'm reading but i have his name saved in my phone as the monkey whisperer and i just screenshotted the most important parts of our conversation so that y'all can know like i was it lying to this man because basically he claimed well i skipped a part in the story so when i was the day before i was supposed to leave so this was thursday night i was supposed to leave and um I texted him and I was like, hey, I want to come get my monkey tomorrow um, in Florida. Like, what are your hours? And he was like, I'm leaving Florida. So you're going to have to come to the Alabama location. So my dad tried to cancel the um, hotel and we're just going to go to Dotham, Alabama, which is three hours away and get the monkey from there because he was leaving Florida that night. And I didn't really orchestrate with him that I was coming. So I was just like, OK, that's not your fault. That's my fault. I didn't tell you. So I was going to go to Alabama. And so later that later that night, I get a text. <clears throat> I get a text from my mom, and it's like, "Bring your monkeys are illegal in Georgia." And then she Facetimes me, and I'm like, "Oh shit!" And I'm like, "Okay, but they're not illegal in Virginia, and I'm gonna be in D.C., Virginia, D.M.V. area in a couple of months." And so then my dad Facetimes me, which is the one that's taking me. My mom is in Arkansas right now. My dad's here, so I'm like, "God dang it!" She told him. So then he says, "You're just gonna have to wait until you go back to college because your finger monkeys are illegal in Georgia, so you're not gonna have." Here. So. Being the emotional person that I am and being that I was so excited for months just to get this monkey, I was crying. Like I literally cried for like two days straight. And then, so 
So I go and text the monkey whisperer and I ask him, I'm like, so my parents said that I can't get it right now because it's illegal in Georgia and they want me to wait till I go to college. I'm like, is my deposit still gonna stick? And like, when I asked this, I was just like making sure because I just knew my deposit was gonna stick. And he said, it will not. And I'm like, what do you mean it won't? Like a deposit is a deposit. How, how does the deposit expire? And then he proceeded to say that I lied to him. I didn't tell him that I lived in Georgia. I was dishonest with him and all this stuff. So now let's get down to the screenshot so I can prove to y'all and prove to him, even though he's not going to watch his video, that I was not dishonest with him. And he just wants to cover his behind because he could lose his license for selling me a monkey in Georgia. So let's pull out these receipts. So this is when I first started talking to him. He was like, Georgia is an illegal state. And I was like, I live in Washington, D.C. That's where I go to school. He said, OK, let me send you my link to the website, themonkeywhisperer.com. And I was like, I wanted to wait until July because that is when I would be going back. But I see that you have limited availability. Should I go ahead and get one? He says, and I quote, I would because they sell very quickly, honestly. So did I or did I not? tell him my living arrangements and say that I'm in Georgia right now, but I will be going back to school in August. And he told me to go ahead and what? Get one right now and not wait. Exhibit A, that I was not dishonest with him. And then I proceeded to ask him, do I need a license for DC? He said, not sure. Do you have a Virginia li driver's license because Virginia does not require a license? I said, no, I do not. Did he say it was a problem then? No, he did not. And so he said, we have two places. We have one in Florida and we have one in Cottonwood, Alabama. The Alabama address would be the closest to you. And then he proceeds to say, a $500 deposit will hold you until your baby come, until you come to get your baby. And when you get it, bring the balance in cash. We also sell accessory packages. So the accessory packages are like, they have one for $650 that comes with a cage and a hammock and diapers, food, all that type of stuff. And then they have one with $350 with the same stuff without the cage. And I said, what all comes with the accessory packages? And do I get to pick a marmoset set prior or to, or are they assigned? And he said, I'll have to give you a call if that's possible in a few minutes. And I said, okay, great. I think we're actually going to go to the Florida location looking forward to your call. So then um, he said, okay, you can do that. That's not a problem. And then we talked on the phone briefly and he was just telling me that um, to come and get it and that I was going to Florida and tell me um, what was in the accessory packages and all that stuff. So then I sent him the Zelle. Y'all can't see it in this because it's cut off because of the picture. But um, I sent him the Zelle of $500 and I said, please confirm when you got it. And he says, and I quote, this is a receipt for your non-returnable deposit on a baby mama marmoset set a balance of, y'all please don't judge me when I say this balance, 3300 is due in cash upon your pickup. Thank you so much for your business. Anywhere in that text, did he say that my deposit expires? I'll wait because it didn't. How does a deposit expire? If you tell me that my deposit reserves a monkey, it's gonna reserve it until I pick it up. Not when it's convenient for you, you know what I'm saying? Like things change. Why is my deposit expiring? You know what I'm saying? And if it does expire, then give me my money back. Like I see that it's non-refundable, but if it's non-refundable, then I should be able to get the marmoset when I want to get the marmoset, you know what I'm saying? And I said, okay, he said, okay, great. See you then. Okay, so this is um, Thursday when I had called him and told him, well, when I texted him and told him that I would be coming to um, Florida, he was like, well, can you just come to um, Alabama instead? And so he asked me, did I have a Virginia ID again? And I told him that I didn't. And then he proceeds to say that I was being dishonest with him. And I'm like, no, I have a school ID. Does that work? And he was like, yeah, okay, bring your school ID. And then he was like, um, you're going to have to lay low with it in Georgia because there's a lot of monkeys in Georgia, but people don't know about it. So I think that you'll be okay until you go back to school and all this stuff. And he said, so then when he got off the phone, um, I told him what time that we would be coming. And then he said, okay, great. See you then. Bring your school ID. So I said, okay, do you have a picture of the accessory packages? Because I just wanted to see, like, if I could buy it on my own and it'd be cheaper. And he was like, no, I'm sorry. I do not. And I said, okay, I bought a cage. So I'm going to do the 350 care package. So my total should be 300, 350. <clears throat> and he said, correct. 
So then this was Thursday at 10 30 8 p.m. after my mom texted me. I was like, my parents aren't letting me get it until I go back to school because it's illegal here. But my deposit hold until August. This man gonna say it will not. How you mean it will not? Does five hundred dollars expire when you put it in your bank account? I don't think so. So why does my <sighs> I'm getting pissed all over again, y'all? And I said, how does a deposit expire if I reserve a monkey? That doesn't make sense. And he said, you were dishonest with me as to where you live and you were supposed to pick up the baby as soon as possible. This is unacceptable. You don't make sense is what the problem is. <sighs> Trying to keep my composure. I sent this man a screenshot of what, like, when I was like, I live in DC, like my school arrangements or my living arrangements and whatnot. I said, I was not dishonest with you. I told you that I lived in DC, but I was here during the summer. I clearly stated that you told me I should go ahead and get it because they sell out. Nowhere was I dishonest. Read the messages. And he said, I'm not going to argue with it about this with you about this, it's business, and you were dishonest with me from the very, very beginning that you lived in an illegal state. You absolutely were dishonest. I'm sorry it worked out like this, but your deposit is forfeited. I took your money off, monkey off the market. It is ready for you to pick up. You're not picking it up, and you live in an illegal state. I am not, I'm in bed now. I'm not discussing this any further. Y'all, at this point, I was pissed. I called my mom. I was like, mom, this man trying to take my $500, y'all, like, I done already lost $2,500 for the Greece trip that I couldn't go on because of COVID. And now I just lost $500. So that's $3,000 down the drain in one year, y'all. I'm just irritated at this point. So I didn't respond until 1235. And I was like, okay, that's fine. You can speak with my mother and a lawyer tomorrow. So my mom called her attorney her attorney is like they're talking about it trying to get my money back or whatever and i'm just like i'm just pissed at this point because it's not even the fact that i want my money back like i do want my money back but if i can get the monkey i don't want my money back you know like i've been excited about this monkey for so so long and it's just like now i can't get it but then on top of that i lost 500 dollars. you know what i'm saying so it's just like a lose lose situation all the way around i'll probably be less upset if i could get my money back but as it says on the site it's, it is non-refundable but i'm just saying like if you're gonna keep my deposit keep my monkey as well you know don't sell my monkey because my five hundred dollars was supposed to reserve it and nowhere did you say that there was um there was a expiration date on my deposit you know and then so my mom called him and he was talking about he could give me a discount when i go back to school if he has a monkey available like at this point i don't even want to buy a monkey for him because he was being a straight up asshole like i don't want to give him any more money but like i also don't want my five hundred dollars to go down the drain so it's just like what do i do and I really don't want to lose any more money, any more money. And I would have to sneak it in my apartment anyway because I'm not allowed to have pets. But I mean, like, dang, I really, really wanted a monkey. Like, it like high key ruined my whole birthday because that was the main thing that I was excited about. And now I can't even get it. And then I lost $500 on top of that. So yeah, I was pissed for like two days. Ugh, what a struggle. This was a horrible, horrible experience. So moral of the story is, if you're in the Florida area or the Alabama area, don't shop with the monkey whisperer. He's an a-hole and he's not a people person and he's gonna keep your deposit if you don't come get your monkey within a reasonable amount of time. I don't understand, you're a monkey breeder. How are you gonna run out of monkeys? It doesn't make any sense to me this is this man's only job like he literally has a ranch and he raises exotic animals how are you gonna run out of monkeys because if you run out of monkeys you're not gonna like have a job so it doesn't make any sense to me but whatever at this point i'm just trying to get my money back because it's looking like i'm not gonna be able to get it in august either but yeah I was so excited like I had bought my cage I picked out a name because I always wanted a boy monkey I wanted his name to be Aubrey we were just gonna be the best of friends like I was gonna dress him up I was gonna um diaper train him you know feed him all the cute fruits and snacks and stuff <sighs> but it is what it is I guess I just have to 
do this later in life when I have my own apartment with no stipulations and I can care for it how I want to. But yeah, since I'm not spending $3,800 on a monkey, I can definitely get my Louis Vuitton now. It doesn't really equal up because I really wanted a monkey, but hey, it is what it is. I kind of was thinking about getting a dog now. Um, I forgot what it's called, but I can put a picture of what the kind that I wanted. I either wanted a York, a, a teacup Yorkie, or this one. But dogs are like a lot more to maintain, and I can't just keep it in my room like I could a monkey, you know? So, yeah, it's probably not going to happen, but... um. I guess I'll just remain petless for the time being. Um, not a very happy way to end my seven day posting, but that's how my birthday ended. So on the bright side, I'm so super close to getting monetized, you guys. Um, I'm at, I have my, I reached my thousand subscriber, subscriber amount already. I'm at, actually I'm at um, 1,200. I just reached that today, so congrats to me. And for the watch time hours, I'm at 3,550. So I only have 450 more hours to go and I get about 50 hours a day, so. 450 divided by 50 is 9 so in about 9 days I should be monetized which is so exciting to me because I've been working so so super hard and yeah I'm super excited to get monetized I really still have a lot of research left to do because I don't exactly know like how often we get paid how much that how much you make per ad you know like I don't really know the logistics of everything, but I guess I got to get there first. Um, yeah, and then I'm still waiting on one last product for my new business so I can record and tell you guys what's coming next for me. And I'm super excited for that video to tell y'all what's going to go on. It should be, the last product should be here in the next, like within June, like before July. So that video will be coming soon. I'm not going to schedule it till August. Like, I mean, I'm not going to do that. Um, when I record that video, I'm going to post it because I want exposure on my business and y'all to order. So... And if you use the link for my video, I don't know if I'm going to have a website yet. Because honestly, I wanted it to be local. Um, I wasn't really going to do shipping. But depending on like this type of sales that I get, um, I might do delivery. Yeah, and I just applied for, um, there was this grant that I saw on Twitter. It was about like black owned cosmetics business and it's a grant for 10k so if i win that i'm definitely going to be doing deliveries and it's going to be on a large scale but as of now it's just going to be a business for like my lash extension clients and like people who live around but um yeah y'all stay tuned for that and i want to thank you for watching my seven day 19th birthday vlogs and i hope you enjoyed it please give it a like thumbs up comment go watch the rest of the six videos and stay tuned for more content to come and if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do that. And I will see you guys. Oh, she got